Hi, in this um, video uh, we're going to work on making a pair of uh, winter footwear that we'll call mucklucks. Uh, and they look something along the lines like this uh, with a um, leather or suede bottom and a canvas or cloth uh, legging which is up top here and these have um, liners and the liners and and these can be commercially bought liners like so uh, and this is just um, bought online actually no this was bought at uh, at a store uh, I can't remember I believe Axman or something like that uh, not to endorse any particular establishment but you can search for uh, boot liners winter boot liners online or uh, go to your local um, uh, out, outdoor foot, uh, outwear, outdoor outerwear outfitter um, or you can make a pair uh, with um, felted liners uh, and these are uh, homemade felted liners out of raw wool and um, the uh, wool is, is really good because when your feet get wet or moist from um, perspiration or snow or water uh, the, uh, the wet wool stays warm. So um, this style of uh, mukluk that we're going to be making is not is pretty much is is tridally uh, agnostic. I learned this from uh, Miss Jo Wood, at uh, an instructor at the uh, North House Folk School in um, Northern Minnesota, Grand Marais, Minnesota, and she did a class on mukluk making. And her this, this is her design uh, and pattern that we will be replicating. And these are supposed to be uh, tribally agnostic. Uh, the word mukluk comes from uh, a um, mispronunciation of the uh, Inuit word uh, maklak or uh, kamix uh, from the, I uh, believe, the Yupik language. And these um, are usually, they're usually traditionally made out of um, bearded seal skin, moose, elk, um, uh, uh, and, and more thicker hided animals for um, waterproofing you'd use um, a bearded seal skin. Uh, at any rate, these this style of, of uh, mukluk or uh, winter footwear is designed uh, specifically for uh, dry high snow um, your, the, and uh, they're designed to breathe so that um, your feet stay warm um, and, and relatively dry. Um, for inner city use, um, for slush and snow, your feet are still liable to get a little bit moist or damp, just so that you know. So you may want to wear uh, or put an extra liner, maybe a rubber liner in here or a plastic liner or something like that. doesn't really bother me. Um, I'm kind of used to uh, the wet feet, but if you're looking for something completely water, waterproof, you might as well use rubber. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, some of these have been in there's different styles. There's a lighter, there's a lighter bottom part and a darker upper. Some have um, uh, fur pom poms that you can attach to them. Um, here is a, a pair that I that uh, we will be making. And again, these are just a, a leather store bought leather bottom, black bottom with a canvas top. Um, I did add um, some batting on the inside um, to give this kind of a stiffer uh, uh, profile so they stand up on their own and I made this for uh, my daughter uh, and these all have lashings or lacings that you tie up the legs. Um, you know for the little ones it's kind of a bit cumbersome to have to tie them so I modified the, this pattern so that the lacings are not attached to the uh, the boot itself, um, the style that that I learned initially, the lashings were the lacings were attached to the back of the uh, the boot, and they went through loops on either side. So uh, these this pair happens to have a pair of um, felted liners, that are pink wool liners that were um, dyed out of Kool Aid. So like that, they'll keep our feet warm, and we made these at home. So they go inside the boot like so. And um, once you understand the basic design, you can go off on your own, and you can embellish and put whatever decorations, you can add beadwork, 
Um, my beadwork sucks, so I didn't. I don't add any beadwork to these. Um, you can add patches, uh, whatever you'd like. Um, here's a pair that is more uh, custom made. Uh, these have store bought liners in them. They have four fur pom poms, leather leather bottom, and there's a leather V, um, kind of as an embellishment at the top. And just a, there's a there's a cloth uh, leopard print on the outer side, and there's batting on the inside to give it again a stiffer profile and to keep the uh, upper leg warm because the outer shell fabric is pretty thin with lacings here. Um, I also on these I've modified the bottoms so that they um, have a combination of uh, tire shavings and barge cement to create. A slip proof sole uh, for when you're out and about um, so I uh, will try and uh, show how that is done uh, on these pair here you can see more clearly that these have uh, that rubber bottom um, that we're gonna that we're gonna add so uh, in this video again like I said I'm gonna show how to, to make this pair there's gonna be a slight modification the modifications are we're going to add um, some batting on the uh, leggings and we're going to add an extra loop in the back. And those would be the only de delineations from this particular design. Uh, but uh, we'll show how to construct these, how to make a pattern, how to make a casting, how to make a, a pattern from the casting, and how to put these together, how to sew them up, how to create your puckers. Uh, and how to sew the leggings to the bottoms and um, you know also how to add some pom-poms if you'd like you don't have to but they're a nice touch I think. so we're gonna get started and uh, make a pair of mucklucks